Many breastfeeding mothers have difficulty with their milk production. Complaints such as minimal milk supply and milk dragging are common things that many breastfeeders experience. For this reason, having abundant breast milk seems to be a dream in itself. Even though too much milk is not necessarily successful breastfeeding. I wonder what the cause is. Let's find out. Breastfeeding is not always successful in the early days. Most of the breastfeeding mothers experience various problems that make it difficult for them to breastfeed their little one. It's not an easy thing to breastfeed. Moreover, every mother has her own problems. There are those related to technical matters to breastfeeding difficulties due to less than optimal milk production. In fact, there are also those who have abundant breast milk but are still unable to breastfeed successfully. This condition is commonly known as oversupply or hyperlactation. Quoted from the Mayo Clinic, hyperlactation usually occurs in mothers who are in the early days of breastfeeding and this causes full and leaky breasts that don't feel softened even after breastfeeding. Hyperlactation can cause you to feel pain in your breasts. Severe swelling and painful milk release is quite common. This excess supply of breast milk can also make breastfeeding your little one difficult. A burst of milk that is too strong when your little one is suckling often causes your little one to choke and cough. If the baby is not suckling well especially in the first few days, it is very important for the mother to pump eight times each day until the baby can suckle. Due to various reasons, some babies can indeed be late to suckle effectively even though the mother's milk production is still maximal. For this reason, if breast milk is abundant, it is better to continue pumping milk regularly outside of the breastfeeding schedule. At times, a baby may have difficulty suckling at first and will nurse many times at a later stage of development. Based on research, about 12 to 15 percent of women experience impaired lactation. However, every breastfeeding mother has physical barriers or social or psychological problems or even other problems. It doesn't matter whether the person might be able to produce a full supply of milk with enough effort or not. If the normal breastfeeding process cannot maximize breastfeeding, this means that there is a problem that needs to be addressed. Perhaps more than 5% of women face actual milk supply problems, but point to other institutional barriers to breastfeeding, as quoted from the page The Cut. Despite these obstacles, breastfeeding itself is actually a learned skill and sometimes for various reasons, things don't work out as expected. Sometimes, it is technical in nature which hinders breastfeeding even though milk is abundant. For example, obstacles due to sore nipples and blisters due to less than optimal attachment. This is natural because most breastfeeding women do not recognize this problem at the beginning, especially for new mothers. For this reason, getting help early is the best way to avoid some of the more serious breastfeeding problems. Recognizing problems early can minimize these barriers from recurring during the breastfeeding experience. In addition, with the help of a lactation consultant, of course, it will be useful knowledge in helping breastfeeding mothers to be better both in terms of position and attachment, as quoted from Page the Women's. Not only that, often problems such as mastitis can be the next obstacle. Mastitis itself is a problem that also haunts breastfeeding mothers. This is an inflammation of the breast that can cause infection. Mastitis can feel like you have a cold but you may feel hot and have aches and pains in your body. Then, the problem that hinders the success of breastfeeding even though breast milk is abundant is when a nursing mother has flat or inverted nipples. Indeed, this condition may make it difficult for mother to breastfeed. However, it is still possible to continue breastfeeding with the help of use. Nipple shields. So, whatever problems hinder breastfeeding, it's a good idea to consult with a lactation consultant or doctor, mother. That way, the breastfeeding journey can be smooth and maximal. Thus, the baby's growth can be supported optimally as well.